Hey fam, it's Jay Lobos coming back to another episode and I wanted to continue the conversation regarding debt consolidation. I wanted to talk to you guys out there that right now you're overwhelmed with too much credit card debt. And obviously I was talking on my last video regarding debt consolidation, the pros and cons, depending on where you go. And shout out to Annie. Obviously I saw all the, all the remarks, comments that you made on the last couple of videos. And I wanted to continue obviously because you did have this question regarding what other options are out there. And instead of getting into a debt consolidation, or what could you do on your own to try to reduce some of that debt? So let's go ahead and jump into this, guys. And I wanted to talk to you guys about balance transfers. I wanted to talk to you guys about personal fixed interest rates. Because when we're talking about reducing our debt, guys, we have to be realistic. No creditor is gonna take less than what they actually let you borrow, right? So, and this is where this whole complication of debt consolidation goes into. So before going ahead and getting yourself into a debt consolidation and not knowing if that's gonna be a good or a bad thing, work on your own. So one of the first things that I'm gonna highly encourage for you guys to go ahead and do is have an open line of communication with your creditor. With that being said, call your credit card company. Let them know you're going through a hardship. We're still going through a pandemic, guys, so if you guys have actually lost your job in the past or possibly right now you're not making as many hours or possibly your spouse is no longer working, so guess what? You're going through a hardship. Talk to your credit card company about that. Sometimes you're gonna go ahead and tell you, oh yeah, we could go ahead and reduce the monthly, um, instead of you know being $200, we could do 175. But talk to them about a hardship. Why? Because the hardship, they, they, they have the possibility of reducing the interest rate. Again, they're gonna wanna maximize whatever opportunity possible. Yeah, they're gonna try to help you, but they're still gonna try to get as much as possible. So when you say hardship and you let them know, listen, I've lost most of my income, I'm going through a situation, that hardship, they might have to go ahead and close that credit card out. But guess what? To me, that's a benefit because now I'm not tempted to go ahead and use this or impulsively to reuse this credit card for something else. I'm gonna have to look for other solutions. So if you have a conversation with your creditor, let them know that you're going through a hardship, you lost income, you're going through COVID, and just let them know that, guess what, it's too much right now. So if they could reduce the interest rate, that'll be a lot better. Obviously the monthly payment will be reduced as well, but you're gonna be hitting more principal versus interest. So that's one of the, one of the things that I go ahead and highly encourage. Another thing too is, again, if they're gonna go ahead and, and, and freeze the account for a certain amount of time, maybe six months, 12 months, let them do that, because that's obviously beneficial. Um, obviously, have a conversation with them. Another thing that you guys could go ahead and do, possibly, talk to your bank. Some banks, especially like Credit Union, Space Coast Credit Union, Tropical Financial, they offer personal loans. Actually, I, there's even personal um, loans online. Go ahead and Google that. Why? Because there's a difference if you're able to go ahead and transfer some of that debt from a credit card that's a revolving, it's an interest rate that's a variable 26%, 27% versus a fixed rate of a three, four, five, six percent on a term loan, which it could be one, two, three, or four years, it's a lot better than actually having to deal with the credit card, transfer all that over. The same thing goes, there's some credit card companies right now, depending on where your scores are at, if you haven't defaulted on your credit cards, even though the utilization is a little bit high, but you still have credit scores above the 640, 660s, you might be eligible for another credit card. Discover does it. They have a 0% for 18 months. Do a complete balance transfer. There's other Citibank has, Bank of America has credit cards that if you get approved, you transfer all that over and guess what? Now it's 0%, you're attacking the principal primarily versus having to pay that high interest rate. So that's, those are a few solutions that you yourself could do before getting into any kind of debt consolidation um, company and then having to go through that issue. Do this for yourself. I hope this is obviously informational, educational, and until the next time, guys, good luck.